<laughs> did you blow a fuse? Yeah, I did. I did. You did! Yay! <laughs> I'm the winner. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the All Flight Simmer channel. With All Flight Simmer today is me, OMG Edson from the Skylounge.tv. A shout out to Vitus uh, for the beautiful plane that we're about to take up into the skies today as we head uh, north out of the Sonoma, California area to grab grab a steak dinner. Right? You like steak? I love steak. I wow. love steak. <laughs> Good. We're going to grab a steak dinner. Um, we'll take a look at the latest update uh, to this beautiful plane and, and kind of share our thoughts once we uh, get her up in the sky. And for now, we'll let Mr. Uh, Mr. Shane take it from here through the checklist. And um, it's, it's like being a special guest on my own um, channel. <laughs> <laughs> With royalty. I've got it's YouTube a, royalty. An interesting twist in content, right? Yeah, yeah. So have you have you got all your your bags and your cart and your um, GPU and everything there? Oh out? yeah, yeah, it's all out, baby, Actually, all out. It's it's all out. Actually, Beautiful detail, still, right? Yeah, yep. And in the um, T cell livery, the custom livery just for the T cell. I love the colors. So, yeah, it's very catching. The blue, I like the blue with the shading and the textures. It's very nice. And the blue on the front of the engine there, that's nice. Nice touch. Alrighty. So, let's bring up all the menus. So, ship two, three, and four. Um, shift four is going to be the maintenance, but we're going to assume that everything's okay. So probably the main thing you want to check is just your fuse box to see if you've got any fuses blown. So you're going to look for something gray. Have you got anything, any gray ones? Um, let's have a look. See, I knew you would make me look at this stuff. This is exactly why I said I've got a contact chain. Because I knew you'd make me look at this stuff. Let's have a look. Safety first, flying second. I seem to be all good. All good. All good. Now, did you know that there are actually spare fuses as well? Well, like yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you, may, you may need them. So take a photo of the way it looks now, because it's probably not going to be the same. Uh, <laughs> during the flight and especially if you're flying I think maybe we might do a fuse off and count who, how many fuses are left and the one that's got the most left wins I, love I think that. that's how we should play this flight I absolutely <laughs> love that yeah we'll call it a fuse off all right so we call that now I've got okay. my top window open man it's hot out here no I forgot about that yeah see it's it's winter back in Oz so Everything's closed up. Yeah, it's nice and warm here. I got the top open window up. open. I wish I could fly with it open. <laughs> well, you could. You could. But safety first. <laughs> <laughs> Reminding me already. Okay. So we can go into... Let's have a look. Um, not all this is model, but this is the maintenance menu, which is shift... What is it? Shift 4? So shift four will have, you can check. So some things are modeled in there or not, but if you just flick a few pages on to say, uh, let's find something good that's modeled. It's a working progress, but um, there's updates galore on this. Say the lubrication system. 
That's a very important system. It, <laughs> Friction is, is bad. <laughs> <laughs> so if you click onto the system component, so you would normally do this when, when you're flying. So um, you're probably you know more checking the outside of the aircraft and how good she looks but um i'm gonna i'm gonna be checking systems here and the first thing i want to check is you know um my oil tank um the filters you can go through the whole thing and as you go through it, it will go green unfortunately some of these checks aren't modeled in here and let's see if we can find one on one page here we go barometer sensor and instrumentation so that one is if we're having a look at the pitot tube and the static ports and all that sort of thing you can just click on inspect and on expect it and it will give you it will go green if it's okay now at the moment none of that the fail system hasn't been modeled or implemented into the Vega but it's coming I'm really looking forward to that so if I click on report it will show that the uh, the pitot tube is fine but the really cool thing is that you're going to have to look after your aircraft or the Vega. She's old. She needs a lot of attention. Um, and just, just have a look to see if um, all the equipment and the maintenance is okay before you do your walk around. Um, but then again, you know, the other thing is flying with a, a, a not maintained aircraft puts a whole different spin on it. So that's pretty cool as well. Oh, I'm going for YOLO. YOLO? <laughs> YOLO, full YOLO. You only live once. Right. So who's going to do the mayday call, you or me, for you? Or? <laughs> <laughs> with, uh, with no radio in this, you might have to relay it. I'll yell it out the window. <laughs> <laughs> You'll just hear me scream. I'll pop up in the top latch. <laughs> yeah. just, just write it on a bit of paper and, and throw it out the window. <laughs> throw it out the window. <laughs> Oh god. Alright, so that's maintenance. So we say we're gonna say everything's good, check your fuses, that's okay. Um, and the other thing, I'm just gonna do a pop out side view and do shift two. And Edson's opening his doors. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep, open and close. There Board, we go. I'm boarding got up out. already. Yep, all aboard. So I'm just gonna go through, you can, this is cool. So this is your loadout screen. So you can pop your fuel in here. Um, are we gonna be riding any passengers today? Do, or we I've just got, get, uh, I've got one. I, I threw the developer in here with me to, to right. lessen, lessen the risk of failure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so Vitus, okay. you're flying with me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'm just gonna put some um, camera crew in the back to watch. Um, Perfect. Yep, so we can uh, take some footage of your aircraft. So one lone soldier. Um, but yeah, I think we're gonna, we'll, we'll get cracking at the moment. I'll go through and show you some of the the way that um, it's modeled and we'll, we'll check out the um, how the temperatures have been modeled in this update, um, but we'll get the engine up and running. So we wanna go through and get rid of all our ground equipment. So you can just basically click on them. So wheel chocks, we'll take those off. I love how that's all modeled. Um, yeah. the, the, the actual time delay and everything is just a beautiful bit of immersion. I mean, that's what sells the experience. Yeah, that's one of the best things. It's not click and disappear, mm -hmm. right? All right, got my tie downs gone, going for the chocks. Oh, I got the plane All next right. to us pushing back. He's ready to go with this guy. <laughs> There's a Cessna taking off right next to me. Right. <laughs> okay, everybody's in. I'm going to close doors. Um, we've got enough fuel, default fuel I've got. I'm up, I'm filled 50% in each tank. Yeah, I'm about the same. Go ahead and yeah. Uh, yeah. fire it up here. Oh, actually, I forgot is there is that walk around too, which is shift three, but we'll, we'll bypass that because we said everything's correct, but you can go in and, and check and do your walk around um, and check the outside of the aircraft, which is really, really cool as well.
and you know just the really one of my favorite things about the vega is um the trim the trim handle and the how your trim is connected to rope so which is the cool thing now if you had a a, a failure with your trim handle you could just use your hand <laughs> and start trimming it <laughs> pulling it on the rope <laughs> sounds perfect <laughs> yeah 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 all right oh man now i've messed my trim up <laughs> playing with it <laughs> oh this will be fun but ev everything moves in everything moves in the, in the copy and um the vega it just comes alive um you know once you switch everything on everything's moving and you know it's not going to be a very cushy sort of flight or a smooth flight you know you, you're going to be vibrating you want to bring extra cushions to sit on when you're sitting in this aircraft it's going to be loud it's going to be vibrating um you know that is the cool thing all right let's start and them up start it up start it up all right all right so battery on And we better turn the fuel on, which is uh, nicely modelled with a little wooden handle, which is really cool. I don't think I've flown an aircraft in uh, P3D that's modelled with wooden handles, which is really cool. So the way that I like to start it up is basically um, the little pump handle here. I can't remember the, the name of it, but it's the pump to pump the, the fuel pressure up. and you know when you've actually reached the right amount of pressure is when it, the handle becomes harder to actually pull and push um, which is really cool but once you do that you get up to right pressure you need to get everything set and because um, you only got a, a time limit before the pressure drops back which is a really nice touch of how that's been modeled as well so navigation lights I'm going to pump the handle and you can see the fuel pressure go up I'll put my magnetos to both and I'm going to press the turbo push in and hopefully I start it up without blowing a fuse good luck because then yeah well if I blow a fuse you'll be Edson one Shane none I have so. extra fuses <laughs> <laughs> Heard you. Sounds good. How many times did you start up the Vega, or how many attempts did you have at actually starting it up with the throttle and and not being able to, to get it to kick over when you first flew it? <laughs> um too many times the first time and then i eventually learned but i occasionally forget yeah that yeah. that's the really cool thing you've actually got to show some airmanship and make sure you don't overload the throttle not too much and and not enough and you gotta listen you gotta listen to the aircraft and the way that she talks to you to get it right so that Most was really definitely. cool it's very immersive so generators like on runway wise we are straight out runway one three just around the corner here it's perfect we've got about a nine knot uh headwind on the way out cool well which way is nine uh one way. three yeah one three cool did you want to lead the way uh sure yeah sure thing. let me lock uh lock the chair in place all right. And I think one of the best things about this is being a tail dragger with it with the um the taxi because you can't really take your eyes off the screen you got to watch what you're doing sure do she's a wild one mm. all right stop right here flip the lights on 
Now remember, no radio, so... <laughs> no need to radio the tower. Got the lights on, the beautiful FSFX immersion package in this update. So we've got lighting by FSFX packages here. Yeah. Alright, lined up and rolling. I'm gonna sit here. Have you gone? Yes, sir. Ah, oh, that didn't take long. Rolling. A nice little uh, crosswind here. Someone out there is cooking barbecue over there. <laughs> Alrighty, alrighty. Here we go, here we go. I will uh, make a right hand turn after departure. Here we go, pushing down a little bit. Ah, oh, look at those lights. Gorgeous, eh? Yeah. All those needles shaking. Yeah. Oh, yes they are. I don't know if it's the needle shaking or is it my eye eyeball shaking. <laughs> Shake, rattle, and roll. <laughs> yeah. And the cool thing is that um, all of them are independently um, modeled too. Yeah. Each and every one has its own characteristic its own personality if you will yeah so we'll do a heading of about 220 uh, right out to the coastline you know we don't have uh, very much with regards to navigational aids in here so mm. 220 out to the coastline and then we'll follow the coastline up to the sea ranch so there's no GPS in this thing <laughs> nope <laughs> <laughs> No GTN 750 in here. <laughs> uh, yeah, and that should be a rule when you fly this aircraft, you don't bring your iPad with you either. <laughs> I'm cheating. I do have four fight uh, strapped to my knee. Ah, uh, there you go. There you go. There had to be some technology in there somewhere for you. <laughs> All right, so I'm sitting at about 95 so I'll just increase a bit so I can catch up okay looks a bit steamy or um, a bit of hazy outside it is neck of it's, the woods. yeah it's that uh, kind of that marine layer uh, that's gonna be moving in here soon as we get uh, into the evening so we're flying real time tonight should be a beautiful beautiful sunsetty kind of flight once we get out to the ocean. Hopefully not too much of the marine layer. We'll have a nice view, but I wanted to make sure that we had some, some beautiful mountains to fly over because Northern California is definitely known for these, these green areas. <laughs> and just looking at that RPM needle, it is. <laughs> it's, it's jumping around like a headless chook. It is, it's bouncing around. I have to say another uh, little little thing that you notice when util utilizing the plane is that, you know, in, in many planes when you do something like adjust a mixture, you can roll the mouse button or the mouse wheel. Uh, but in this case, uh, the developer really wanted you to feel like you were managing these things, and you actually have to click, hold, and drag. And I love that. Yeah, it makes you. It makes it feel that you're you're doing it. You're actually there in the cockpit and the immersion feeling of actually doing it yourself. 
So I've seen some of those things. Um, they use a lot of those techniques in uh, X-Plane, and this is in different aircraft. This is the first time I've seen that sort of stuff implemented um, in an aircraft in P3D, So, which is cool. Yeah, I definitely would put this on par with you know the A2As of the world, and even even Real Air. Do you remember the Lancer Legacy? Uh, yeah. yeah, Real Air. I mean, those those planes were incredible. Sad, sad to see that uh, developer no longer in the space. But uh, uh, this is right up there, right up there. Trimmed out beautifully, just under five thousand here. Yeah, I think my passenger's carrying a little bit more weight than uh, you. I'm struggling to catch up. He's had too many hamburgers. <laughs> <laughs> Mine has me leaning to the side. <laughs> yeah. So I think I'll um, I'll catch up once we get to altitude. But you know, for an aircraft like this, she she goes she goes quickly. Like I'm I'm climbing at. Um, what am I doing? About a thousand foot climb, and I'm seeing about 130. You know, you can't do that in a 172. Yeah, no. You also can't carry what, like eight people? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, have you have you done a barrel roll in this aircraft before? Oh dear, no, not yet. Is that a dare? <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. You have to you have to do one, and you have to see because one of the cool things, which um, once we get to altitude, we should have a look in the back. So, one of the things that I like to do, Edson, I take my viewers for a, a bit of a back seat, and we have a look at the back. And um, when I did this the first time, is that um, all there's ropes where you hang on to because obviously there's no seat belts in the back. So, um, so I hope the uh, passenger in the back's holding on to the rope, but they're all um, individually. Um, modeled to how to roll around and move around when the aircraft is so when I saw that it was a bit of a wow moment of right okay light bulb moment is how do these work when you go upside down so I had to do a barrel roll and it was pretty cool well in that case let's <laughs> go for it <laughs> here <Yeah>. I go <laughs> oh dear Oh. oh dear! <laughs> Absolutely incredible, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, she handled it like a pro. We're going to make a left turn or a right turn? We're going to make a right turn. Right turn. Might undercut you a little bit so I can... Um, yep, absolutely. Catch, catch up. I think this aircraft with... If you're into formation flying or um, online flying, it's if you can you know get someone... But the same aircraft, I think it's a good aircraft for that because it's very stable and the speeds are similar, so it would be a lot of fun. For being such a stable aircraft, there sure are a lot of rattles. <laughs> that yeah. engine shroud is just like... <laughs> uh, it wobbles around more when you uh, put it into a dive. <laughs> I'm worried about what you're doing with your passengers on your full flights, man. You've got barrel rolls, you've got dives. <laughs> yeah. 
They trust me. I just make sure in the interview process they haven't watched one of our uh, reviews first. That's <laughs> the key. Alright, starting to make my right hand turn here. Yeah, I can see you. Done a nice job with the lights because you, you can see them you know, very constant, so which is cool. But I haven't been able to... I can spot you from a mile away, which is nice. And I'm catching up quite quickly. Yeah, I pulled back nice on the throttle, so I'll bump it up just a touch now. What a day to fly. Yeah. It's beautiful. Alright, I've got eyes on you. I think once I line up on the coast a little bit more, I might um, have a look at the external views and see how she looks on the outside. Oh, I'm, it's getting bumpy for me, man. I'm picking up yeah. a lot of turbulence here. Oh, dear. What's my weather like out here? Woo. It's rough. About 19 knot winds. Yep. And you're bumping around? Yep. I'm bumping around. It's gusty. There you go. Leveling out a touch there. So on, on this update, there was two extra liveries. So one which is, um, oh, I should spill the beans. I might as well let you talk about that. Oh, no, please go ahead. I'm sure it was a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was, yeah. It was pretty cool, too. So you got the, um, the Sky Lounge livery, custom livery, which is very nice in the royal blue and the yellow. And then there was another one, but I can't remember what the other one was. Um, but, was it the Braniff one, I believe? Is that that's the red one, isn't it? The right flight. Oh red yeah, one? that was the red one. Yeah. So many liveries, it's great. Yeah, and I love that the really retro sort of forties, fifties era, which is cool. Mm -hmm. Big fan myself. Beautiful shots here, some external stuff. Uh, this area really is so very nice. Uh, some challenging airports out this way as well. So what's some of your go-to uh, little airports for around here? Um, the one we're heading up to is definitely one of them, the Sea Ranch. And then there's another one, uh, I believe it's E55, Echo 55 is Ocean Ridge. And that one's really cool in that it has a slightly challenging approach. Um, now the Steakhouse is actually between those two, so if you like, we can easily update and just continue going up north uh, another 10 miles or so, and we can hit the more challenging uh, approach at Ocean Ridge. <laughs> we can definitely do that. 
Okay. I'm sure the I'm sure the audience is right now throwing things at the at the, the displays, saying yes, of course, challenging. I'm up for that. I love a challenge. All right. Well, uh, Echo Five Five Ocean Ridge, it is. Um, so what we'll do is we'll stick uh, to the coastline for another another minute or two. Yeah. And then we will uh, start making our way inland a touch. Uh, if you look off to your right, uh, there's a big ridge that kind of runs along the uh, coastline. And what we'll do is we'll line up in that ridge. Whoa, getting a little bounce here. That's uh, these gusts, man, coming right off the ocean. Yeah, there's no your dampener on this to uh, keep it smooth. Yeah. I'm just trying not to hit my head on the ceiling. Yeah. <laughs> I'd, I'd say this is moderate. <laughs> All right, so you'll see an airport down below. Uh, that is uh, the Sea Ranch. Once we uh, line up with that airport off to our right, we'll cross in and kind of follow that valley up and start descending. Nice. Yeah. All right, starting to cut uh, in towards land. Yeah. Making my way down as well. Just start pulling back on the speed also. Listen to that. Um the tone of the engine changes as you pull it back. Oh, it's wonderful. And you look pretty good from behind, that's for sure. I didn't know I had my webcam on. <laughs> 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 Airport up ahead. Yeah. Ocean Ridge. Walked I walked into that one, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's our spacing looking like? Uh, about two nautical miles. I'll tell you what. I'll let you take this landing first. You carry on. I'll spin off to the right here and do a 360. Perfect. And see you peeling off. Nice. So it's going to be me, the first one to botch the landing. <laughs> I've been here before. It would be cheating if I went first. <laughs> <laughs> Now, if you like to bleed off some of that altitude, you can also uh, do like a, a left hand loop or something. Yeah, I might have to, I think. Not a problem. Let's I'll make my loop a... more like an oval, so I'll go south to touch, give us some space. What an absolute pleasure to fly this plane is. It really is. It's very relaxing and smooth. You just want a casual flight. This is, you know, you want a scenic flight. You want to see some low and slow. This is perfect. I'd Absolutely. say this is on my must have list. I really, really yeah. do. This is on my must have list. Another one on that yeah. list would be. Uh, the Alabeo Waco, for example. It's just an incredibly beautiful photo photogenic plane. Um, this is right there with that. As far as looks go, uh, she's a beauty. And that's it. If you, and also, if you're a systems person, you know, just because this is an older plane, you think, oh, 
doesn't have systems, well, you're completely wrong. It's got more systems in this than some of the other modern aircraft have what it, what's been modelled. So, you know, you need to look after and understand your aircraft to fly this around, which is cool. So true. You know, not many aircraft out there have a balance of both. This has met that yeah. mark. All right, I'm going to make my way in. So how long is this runway? It's pretty short. Uh, I'll tell you right now. See, this is where you thank me for bringing technology. <laughs> We've got uh, 2,500 2, feet. And it's marked as good asphalt. <laughs> good. <laughs> good asphalt. There we go. It's lining up. Beautiful spacing between us now. About four miles. Perfect. Speed check? I would love to. <laughs> About one, uh, 130 here. Yeah, I'm going to eyeball that and say about the same. <laughs> There's no flaps on this thing either, which is, you know, they weren't even thought of back then. No, not at all. Speed control is very, very important. You've got to control the speed early on or stopping it is not really an option in on short final. Yeah, I'm trying to bleed off some speed now. There's trees just right on top of we need to go in the threshold, which is always great. <laughs> but you probably knew that, didn't you? <laughs> yep. <laughs> and it's a tail dragger, so it's not really you can land on all three. You've got to put the front down first. Yep. Oh, it's short. It, it is short. It's going to be a challenge. <laughs> That's for sure. Now remember, can safety first. <laughs> yeah. Oh, of course well, you can edit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so just over the post-production's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> we're we're going around. <laughs> we are going around. I hear the steak is really good out here, man. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully they haven't put mine on yet. <laughs> Nobody likes cold steak. All right, I see you pulling off to the right. It wasn't working my trim wheel well, well enough, I don't think, for the lower speeds. I was really just, I needed to check the condition of the runway to make sure it was good <laughs> asphalt. Exactly. That, that's my excuse. <laughs> Just a verification flyover. Yep. Safety first. <laughs> Alright, I've got you off to the right. Very nice. Lit up like a Christmas tree. Are you making your way in or? I am. Perfect. Speed's looking good. You want to come in off the right side too. Uh, bringing this thing in straight in can be difficult just because of visibility. So bringing it in at a slight angle is perfectly okay. That tail over. Okay. Oh, bit of a slam. But we're on the ground. On the ground? All right, on I'm just going to make my, my turn. All in one piece. All in one piece. 
You didn't throw, need to throw your little letter out the window with Mayday <laughs> on it? Not this time. The scenery around here is awesome. I've never Isn't flown it? in here before. No, nah, it's beautiful. So you're going to taxi down to the very end of the runway. All yep. the way past the other threshold. And uh, we'll stop in there. That's where we'll pick up the car and uh, head into town. There we go, runway in sight. You can see you sitting there. I've got eyes on you. It's hard to judge your altitude with this airport being sitting on top of the hill. Indeed. No pressure at all. I have the drone out. Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Ready for a new air crash investigators episode. <laughs> yeah, that's a good angle. Need to talk to the airport manager about these trees. Need to trim them. Ooh, that was close. Whoa. That's close. That was better, better approach. Uh, you, there we are. Very nice, sir. Very nice. <laughs> it's ah, oh, just the braking. Yeah, it is. It's crucial, man. <laughs> yeah. Everything it's about like this plane feels like work when you need to work and play yep. when you're at cruise and she's tuned up and that's what i love she trims out nice she cruises nice but man does it feel like work when it's time to take off or land yeah it's 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 one of those aircraft you, you can't you know just slam it in there and hope for the best right all right i'm just gonna turn around and i think i should see you there we go. Just gonna turn so I can see you in the corner there. Well, our Uber driver is pacing back and forth. <laughs> oh well, there goes the um, five-star rating for us. <laughs> exactly. But how many times does he pick up a couple of passengers in uh, turning up in some Vegas? I know. Yeah. Pretty fantastic. Alrighty, shutting down. Alright, let's check the fuses. Oh, I'm good. You good? All clear. All right. All right, I'm just going to check my fuse box and shut some things down first. Lights everything off. Magnetos can go off. Fuel cutoff can go off. Battery off. All right, I'm about to check my fuses. So the winner is... Or the loser, I should say, because if I've got one blown in here, I think I've lost. Oh, no! <laughs> did you blow a fuse? Yeah, I you did. You did! I Yay! Did. I'm the winner. 
<laughs> How about that? And and here I was thinking, like, I know exactly who I want to do this with. It's like the most technical flyer I know. And look at that. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. So we just. So I've blown the start of Hughes. So I would have done that right at the start. So I was lucky to get it started. <laughs> you were. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Fantastic. Well, Mr. Shane, we've got to get to dinner. Uh, I want to thank uh, you for doing this with me. I want to thank uh, our viewers. I know you probably have some, some exit words as well. Yeah, for sure. I wanted to uh, thank uh, very much for inviting me to come along. And for my viewers out there, if you haven't checked out um, Edson and the uh, Sky Lounge TV, uh, they stream regularly and go and check them out. And also uh, the weekly uh, news report or the, um, the Sky Lounge report where you stay updated with all the news and you get to hear all the, all the rants. So go and check out the last episode. It was um, very, very interesting. Um, <laughs> probably... It's usually one of my best hours or, or so each week to, to, to spend time and actually take a look. So, And um, once you go and check out the Wing 42 and check out the Vega, if you've been living underneath the rock and you haven't seen this before, hopefully this gives you a bit of a go to go and check it out. Sky 5, everybody. <laughs>